It has been exactly eight months since the shooting at Emanuel AME Church. The church has received all sorts of gifts from across the world to help when it comes to their grief. Tonight, News 2's Travis Rice has an exclusive look at what the church is having to do with all the love that it's received. Good evening, Travis. Certainly a lot to see where they're holding that. Good evening, Brendan. That's right. Uh, as many of us could remember, you could hardly walk across Calhoun Street because of all the crowds and the people and the flowers and the gifts that have been placed in front of Mother Emanuel following the massacre. But where did it all go? At the base of the Ravenel Bridge, an unassuming brick building holds things Emanuel AME Church never asked for. Oh, my goodness, wonderful. The thousands of gifts sent after the massacre. Where, where do you start? Well, you know, sometimes I start with this nice... Uh, Liz Austin is tasked with organizing the Emanuel Archives, as they're called. So we're trying to make sure that what we do will be appreciated by posterity, I guess. It's such an awesome task. Paintings, letters, cards, and stuffed animals. People send hats. They send Afghans. And they send potholders. The city of Charleston lent the church the space after they ran out of room at a manual. Hundreds, at least a hundred portraits. Susie Jackson. That's the pain right there. Priceless portraits line the walls, but Alston's favorite, an artful message from inmates. He talks about the fact that even though they are incarcerated, that they want us to know that they care about us. I, I just can't um, thank them enough. When I see this, my life becomes alive because it's history that has happened at the church. And I just want to make sure that what the people have sent to us is treated in the spirit in which it was given. Alston and the committee she's working with hope to have all the items and gifts cataloged by the anniversary. All the while, they're still getting more gifts. Just today, four more quilts sent to the church. Live in Charleston, Travis Rice, News 2.